Hey beautiful people, Lucy here, and today we are talking about how to do studio style product photography right at home. Now this is a totally new style of photography for me. I normally shoot natural light, on location, lifestyle photos. So this is a little bit outside of my comfort zone and you might be wondering, why? Why are you trying something new? Well, there's two reasons. One is that it's always good to learn new things, expand your skill set, but two, and most importantly, is that winter has started here in Canada and that means we are at the beginning of four to five months of freezing cold weather and I am not a winter person at all. Which sucks because since I do lifestyle outdoor photos, that means every winter I kind of go through this lull where I stop taking photos, which is just a huge bummer. So I thought, since I like being inside in the winter, I should learn how to like taking photos inside as well. And speaking of learning new things, thanks to the fine folks over at Skillshare for partnering with me on this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in photography, video, creative business, and pretty much anything else you can think of. And I actually used one of their courses to learn how to do studio product photography in about a day. So if you want to learn some new things as well, check out the link in the description below to get two free months to Skillshare. All right, let's get into the video. All right, so before you can start taking photos, you have to set up a DIY studio, and what you'll need for that is a roll of white paper, a table, a wall, some of these little clamps uh, just to hold everything down, and then you'll need some tacks or some tape. So the first thing you do is take your white paper and clip it down onto the end of the table. I'm using some clamps to do this, but you could easily tape it down instead. Then roll out the paper and bring it up onto the wall. Make sure it has a nice scoop to it. This will basically make a seamless horizon in your photos. I'm just gonna tack it into the wall to keep it in place, but again, you could use tape for this. And that's pretty much it. Now, once you have your backdrop all set up, the next thing you wanna think about is lighting. Now, I'm gonna use a softbox light. You could get something similar to this on Amazon for probably like $100 but you can also do this with natural light. So I'm gonna show you photos, some using the softbox and some just with natural light so you can kind of get an idea of what they look like. If you are gonna use natural light, make sure that you set up your background very close to a window where you get lots of natural diffused light coming in. So once you have your backdrop sorted out, you know what you're doing for your lighting, it's time to start staging the shot. So for my product, I'm gonna use this vintage film camera. I think it's from like 1978, it's pretty cool. Um, and so you're just gonna take your product, place it in the middle of your white paper, and that's it. You can play around with the lighting, play around with how it's sort of situated on that, and definitely practice taking some photos just on the plain white backdrop. I think that that's really important because that is the quintessential product photo where it is just the product on white. And it's definitely super fun to take some of those photos and see how good they look with this really DIY setup. But depending on how you're using the photos, just the product and a plain white background might be a little bit boring. So to make it more interesting, we're gonna put some props into the scene. So when you're thinking about what props to use, think about what might complement the product, think about different themes, the time of year, events coming up. So for instance, right now it's winter time, we're just heading into the holidays, so I thought some festive theme props would be perfect. So I picked up a bunch of stuff. Um, I got a little gift box. Whatever this random confetti stuff is. And then I got some cute little pine cones. Because why not? So with all of these, my idea for the shot was that I'm actually gonna stage the product like it's coming out of the little gift box. You know, kind of implying like, hey, this could be a good gift for someone. So let's set it up. Now that everything is set up, we can start taking some photos. Make sure to try out different angles. You can shoot straight on, angled, or top down. You can also physically move the camera closer or farther away to get some other looks. And don't forget that you can move around your light, take it away, use natural light, or add in more lights. The main thing to remember is to keep experimenting. Try new things, change things up, 
That is how you're gonna learn what looks really, really good. All right, so that's how you do studio style product photography at home. I'm actually surprised by how much I loved doing these kinds of photos. And that's why it's so important to keep learning new things, pushing yourself, getting outside of your comfort zone. And also it's easier and more affordable than ever to learn new things. Skillshare costs less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. And that premium membership gives you unlimited access to amazing classes from industry experts. So you can learn about anything that you want to know. So if you're ready to learn new things and level up your skill set, check out that link in the description below because Skillshare is giving you guys two free months on the premium membership. Seriously, do it. I don't know why you wouldn't. Click that link. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.